name is David Gordon with Aspire Fine Homes. Welcome to our video, the five things to look for in a custom home builder. I'm hoping this video is gonna help you find the difference between a good builder and a great builder. The first thing we're gonna talk about is established portfolio. You wanna make sure that the builder that you're working with has done work that you like. So you wanna look at his website, potentially his house account, maybe even has a Pinterest page, but you wanna look at his work, the inside and the outside of the home, and make sure you connect with it. Look at the style, look at the rooms, look at the designs, and make sure this is a builder that you can really connect with and that you appreciate their work. You also need to look at virtual tours. If they have virtual tours on their website, Fantastic. What this allows you to do is not just look at a particular photo, but to go explore the house and look at different areas of the house, not just what they're actually putting you with. So the next thing are credible reviews. It's just like Amazon. Everybody goes to Amazon for product reviews. You might go to a store, see an item you like, go to your Amazon account, look at the product reviews of it, right? So product reviews are very important. And so because they're so important, what you need to do is you need to make sure you look at these reviews. Now there's a lot of different places to look at reviews. We've got Google, we have House, we have Facebook, we have Yelp. So a builder might have one or a few in there or he might have them in all in one silo. That is okay. But what you wanna make sure is that he has reviews, okay? So don't be afraid if he has a bad review. I'm okay if he has one or two bad reviews. Building houses for people is very difficult. And so I think the builder's more real if he has a bad review on there. And so if he doesn't have any bad reviews, I might be a little suspicious. It's like giving somebody a list of references. I'm only gonna give you the best references, okay? So it's okay to have a bad review. So let's remember everybody, we wanna look out for perfect reviews and for no reviews. The next item is they need to have flexible customization options. Now you're wanting to build a custom home, right? So you want it to be custom. Now what happens is production builders typically will be the type of builders that will not let you do any customization. Like their floor plan is their floor plan, don't make changes. Or if you change it, you can't change the footprint, but I can change like a room inside or whatever, right? That's not what you want. What you wanna do is you wanna have a custom built home. So you wanna be able to have a custom builder that says, hey, we can start from scratch. We can give you a purely custom experience. Now, with that said, I do want to tell you there is a little bit better way to do it as well. So if you do a plan from scratch, it's gonna be very difficult. It takes a long time. It's never been designed before, okay? And so you can run into issues in probably paralysis analysis where you and your wife or you and your significant other are trying to figure out what's the swing of the door? Is there enough room in the hallway? And those things can make your head spin. I've been designing houses with architects and designers for over 15 years, so it's easy for me, but this is probably your first time. So take that in consideration when you do decide to do a custom home, okay? I'm not saying you have to go that route, but that's definitely an option. It will save you time and money, but that's not a must have. If you wanna have a pure custom plan, that's really important. So your custom builder needs to have flexible customization options, definitely in terms of plans. So the next item is a customer-centered process. You know, building a custom home is a significant investment. So you want to make sure that the builder that you're working for has processes that are really focused on you. So what's happened over the years, especially with our company, is we would write processes, but they would be to help our back office. They would not be focused on the front, which is you, the client. And so what we learned is how to make sure that we're looking at our processes and how they affect the client. So. What you want to do is you want to work with builders and you want to ask them, what type of processes do you have? Do you have written processes? Do you have flow charts for your processes? They're basically called standard operating processes. And any builder who doesn't have a standard operating process 
is something I would really be concerned about. So also while you're in the sales process, this is like the dating phase of a relationship, right? And so everything should go really smooth. They should respond to your calls quickly. They should respond to your emails quickly and they should answer all of your questions. Okay. This is really important because if they're not doing those three things during the dating phase, before you sign a contract with them, what do you think is going to happen whenever the contract is signed? Really, it's important for your superintendent and the project manager you're working with that you get along with them, that they're caring, they're attentive, and they're paying attention to you. Because at the end of the day, you really don't know what's going on. This is a new experience for you. So it's really important for you to have people that are going to be there and be consultants to the process, guides to the process, to make the customer center process better for you. we're going to talk about is a knowledgeable staff. This is really, really important. You've got to be working with a group that's really top notch because they can make or break the experience that you're going to have. Building a custom home is incredibly complex. There's a lot of moving parts, everything from the administrator to the guy in the field. This is all really critically important. Most likely you're going to have interviewed and talked to the builder like me. Most builders are small, but you need to know the people in the back office and the people in the field are really high quality. The number one person that's gonna make or break your job is gonna be the field superintendent. You're gonna be talking to them every day or every other day. And you've gotta make sure you all have good chemistry and you've gotta make sure that person is really good. For example, when you have information that you need and you need a response from the office, it needs to be turned around in 24 hours. This is one of the key things to tell you you've got a good staff. So if you have the opportunity working with the builder to actually hand select or to interview the superintendent, I would highly recommend that. I've talked to people that have had built houses, not by us, but have had a really good experience because their field superintendent was great and a really poor experience because they weren't very good. So you wanna make sure that the team that you pick is very knowledgeable, very good at what they do. So let's review the five things to look for in a custom home builder. We've got established portfolio, credible reviews, flexible, customizable options, a customer centric process, and most importantly of all, a knowledgeable staff. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe to us. We've got a lot more good content coming out. And lastly, if you're interested in building a custom house in Houston, please go to our website, www.aspirefinehomes.com. Thank you so much.